Hello, yes, if there's hope for Brazil, there's hope for Britain, that's right, I'm referring to the latest uh, presidential election in Brazil, where a jour, I think that's how you pronounce it, J-A-I-R, Belserano, an ex-paratrooper, polled um, 46% of the vote, I think it was, and he's through to the second round runoff, which will be held late October, against the Workers' Party guy, um, who only polled 29% of the vote. So this guy, Belserano, could win. He's made statements such as uh, calling immigrants scum and other interesting and encouraging statements, which I agree with, and so will many white nationalists the world over. If he is elected, if he is elected, I would suggest the first thing he does is stop any further deforestization of the Brazilian rainforest and burn those favelas down and drive all the scum of the earth out of them because they're the ones that are um, causing all the crime and rape and murder in Brazil. There's something like 63,000 murders a year in Brazil as well as, as many uh, similar, uh, similar amounts of rapes and robberies and whatever. The place is a, in a mess. It's, it's a shithole. But if our views, because that's what they are, if they can resonate in Brazil, then Christ is hope for us. All we need is the right political movement, leader and message. And listen, we're on a winner. Trust me, we are, right? We can get all the ethnic minorities behind us if we do this right. So we can get a large section of them behind us. Trust me, we can. One good thing about the, uh, Mr. Belserano is that he hasn't minced his words, and that's about that's what we should be doing instead of trying to be nice and um, wanting to be liked and accepted. Obviously, don't make ridiculous, outlandish statements, but that's what we need to do. And that was Nick Griffin's fault on Question Time. Instead of him sticking to his guns, he wanted to be liked, and it ended up uh, biting him in the backside. And he looked silly, and you could see he was telling lies as well. And that was his fault. Instead of just looking at them, spitting in their eyes, and say. Listen, this is what we stand for. This is what I said. This is what I believe. And that's that tough, right? We tried to be liked, tried to be accepted. And it didn't, didn't work and it doesn't work. And this guy, Bel Serrano, if he has indeed made some of the provocative, provocative statements he has, then Christ, they're resonating with the people of Brazil because they've had enough. Also, when you look at this, Mr. Bel Serrano, he's nearly white. And uh, whites in these uh, South American countries dominate same with Chile and Paraguay and Argentina, you know. But anyway, uh, if there's hope for Brazil, there's hope for Britain. We just need the right, you know, approach and we can do it. It's not all over, but we can't be waiting for this miracle 11th hour of the baby boom that's going to, you know, save us. It's not happening, Nick Griffin. There's an article on your Facebook uh, by Steve Turley. What is it? Uh, the Return of Patriarchy. The rise of conservative society. I'll leave the link below. And it's good. It's encouraging, assuming it's right. But what the problem with all these surveys and articles is that in the real world, they don't stand up. Do you know what I mean? They just don't. They're all right on paper, but they don't stand up in the real world. Uh, you see, we can't compete with the third world baby boom. We just can't, right? Eastern Europe can because they haven't been hip. Um, by massive third world immigration yet, right? They can, we can't. We've got to deal with the problem. Now, by all means, have more children. By all means, encourage them um, or people to have more uh, babies and whatever. But it's not It's not going to be 11th hour, you know, saviour of our people. It's not happening, right? We've got to do this now. Not in a 100 years time. There won't be any of us left, right? I'll leave that link below. It's interesting, but like I've said, in the real world, these sorts of surveys don't stand up. They just don't, right? Uh, but if it's true, then it's encouraging. But it's a drop in the ocean when you're competing against the third world. We've got enough white people here in Britain now to turn this, you know, to turn this round if we want. Right? We've just got to get organised. There's 17.4 million people out there that vote for Brexit. And I'll guarantee you most of them was on an anti-immigration ticket. Right? So we can. Right? But what has happened is our enemies have they've destroyed the BMP, the, they're now doing the same to UKIP, and then in its place they've provided the pantomime and circus, which is, you know, just scaring the living daylights out of our people. So looking at uh, what's happening in Brazil, that's very, very encouraging, 
right? It really, really is. Let's hope this guy wins. But it's also, it's also a, what's the word for it? It's also encouraging for us here in Britain, white nationalists, that if they can pull that off in Brazil, so can we here. So don't give up. It's not all over. In fact, like I've said many times before, and I'll say again, I've got to go. I'm a busy man. Our time is now. Trust me, it is. Okay, thanks.